Okay, hi Virgos, welcome back to my channel guys. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thanks so much for supporting the channel. So I'm going to go ahead and do a general message because we are now officially in Scorpio season. So I'm going to kind of see what Scorpio season is bringing in for you, what you can expect from it for some of you, okay? Now this is a general message, so it may not resonate with everyone. Take the parts that resonate for you and leave the rest. Anybody interested in a personal reading, my information is always down below. Thanks to those who do reach out for those and thanks to those who donate to the channel and to those of you who do subscribe. It's very much appreciated. So I do hope that everybody is well, okay? Now for my Virgos that are actually dealing with an actual Scorpio, we'll pull some cards at the end and see what the energy may be like for you and that Scorpio during this time. So Spirit, what do we have for my Virgos? What can they expect from Scorpio season? Alright, give me a card for now and a card for going forward. What my Virgos I expect from Scorpio season? So we're going to do the first half and then we're going to do the second half of the month, okay? What can my Virgos I expect from Scorpio season? Thank you, Spirit. What is the energy for the collective? Show me. Okay, so the first one coming out here it is a number 34, which boils down to a number 7. So there's changes here, right? Or at least there's opportunities to change. The door is open here, right? It's, you can see on the other side, there's a rainbow. You can see like there's water. It looks like there's lily pads in the water. There's a stream. I see a peacock here. And, and look what's on the other side of this door. You can hardly see it. It's only a little bit. But you see like all the leaves and things. They kind of dried up. There's no flowers. There's no color, right? Spirit is presenting an opportunity here to someone to change their life. It says door to personal healing and happiness. So show me going forward. My Virgos in Scorpio season. Uh, that's too many cards. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. Oh. So financial constraints is in the reverse. We've got the thinking man. We've got yin and yang. We've got walking away. It feels, a, okay, let's see what else comes out. Just give me one card for going forward. Similar energy to the weekly energy, but let's see. Just one card for going forward. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, all tied up, the temple path and contract. We're walking away at the bottom of the deck. I don't know if someone here feels like they're all tied up. Maybe, you know, this contract could be tied up in a job. It could be tied up in a lease. It could be tied up in a marriage or a relationship. It could be tied up in legal situations here. So you have the temple path, but someone here is very much thinking about the future. The temple path is a number 12, boils down to a number three, which gives me the three of wands, seeing the bigger picture here. Someone, someone very much daydreaming about what else is out there. But feeling like their hands are tied. <laughs> it came back out. So let me just take him. <laughs> All right, the bottom of the deck, you've got door to romance and cornucopia. But someone here has to follow their intuition. Six chakra, Archangel Metatron here. But I feel like someone's heart has been hurt. Or their confidence has been damaged somehow. Yeah, we got walking away and all tied up. So let's see. Give me some cards from my Virgos, thank you, Spirit. Yeah, I'm seeing the door to spirit and you've got happy family. It's like spirit is trying to speak to someone here, but 
clarify these three cards. What can my Virgos expect for Scorpio season? Daughter, personal healing and happiness. You have rest after labor. Children could be involved in a situation here. Oh, this is also giving me that kind of nine of ones energy where spirit is saying to someone, hey, listen, it's time for you to enjoy. It's time for you to rest, right? It's time for you to be happy here. You know, the nine of ones energy is someone who is constantly going through certain battles or someone who has a lot on their shoulders or, you know, they have a lot to do or they have a lot to look after. You know, it's that wounded warrior energy. You know, it could even be someone here is in that energy where they're like, you know what, I just don't want to deal with a certain thing, right? Um, because there's just too much hurt in the past. I'm too scared to open my heart space. I'm too scared to let people in. I'm too scared to step into the unknown. So it's that energy where people kind of stay in situations or, or they become complacent or... You know, they just put up with certain things, like I said, because they don't know what is ahead. So, and a lot of people have this energy where they just don't like to start again. But then how do you ever experience anything new? Hmm. There could definitely be something here about childbirth. What's all tied up? You have, it says, propagating energy. Let me just quickly see what that is again. Okay, so in simple terms, <laughs> I just feel like this propagating energy is, especially with the all tied up, I feel like this is something that is in someone's head. It's almost like that Eight of Swords energy, where somebody feels like there is no way out. What is walking away? So we have coming out sideways. Yeah, someone here may be lacking strength. You know, with the vitality card coming out sideways here. Someone here may be lacking energy, enthusiasm, inspiration. Because walking away, it looks like it brings someone vitality. And it looks like it brings someone self-healing. And we already have healing and happiness. The doorway is open. It's just for someone to walk through it. Yeah, look where it wanted to part on. It says breaking illusions. It's time purification. Listen to your intuition. And it's time to endure the journey. Follow the guidance. So what is this for my Virgos? What can they expect from Scorpio season? Thank you, Spirit. Daughter, personal healing and happiness. Why is it here? Two of Cups. Two of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Nine of Swords. Someone here could have just had a baby with someone. And it's almost like I'm getting a vision of somebody looking at a woman lying down with a baby. And it would be a smallish baby, okay? I don't see a big child or even a toddler. But it could be like, you know, you maybe you just had a child with this person and you're kind of feeling like, I don't know, maybe you're feeling like you actually don't really want to be there. Or like I said, maybe you just feel like somewhere inside you, you desire more. And, and but... It's like, how how do you leave this situation behind? What's the two of cups? Yeah, chariot. 
Seven of Swords with the Five of Swords and the Two of Wands. But I don't know if someone with the Ten of Wands. But I don't know if someone here, you know, you may feel guilty. Right? You may feel guilty inside that you do want to leave this situation. For some of you, you may even want to be with someone else with the Two of Cups and the Chariot. For some of my Virgos, there could definitely be new love coming in for you in the month of Scorpio. What's the Nine of Swords then? Who's in this anxiety, stress and worry? Nine of Pentacles. Someone's worrying about you here, Virgos. Or this is you. But I don't feel like it's you. I feel like someone here is having anxiety over you. Because you're coming out as a Nine of Pentacles. And even in the weekly energy, you was coming out as a Nine of Pentacles energy. So, you know, this is also giving me the number 99, which could be significant. Maybe you've been seeing that number a lot. Clarify. Yeah, look at that. The World card, the Fool, the Ace of Pentacles, the Six of Wands, the Moon card and the Hanged Man. And the Hermit and the Lovers. Someone is very much in their head here about you. You know, it's giving me that energy. Someone here may need to end the cycle because they want to take a leap of faith here with you, right? To come and offer you something. It feels like someone here feels like they could be successful with you here, but they keep this to themselves and the hanged man energy. Now, this could also be someone who is watching you on some sort of platform or something like that here, right? Maybe they see that you took a leap of faith, right? You've gone in a brand new direction. You're very much free and unencumbered here. And it looks like something here is working out for you, Ace of Pentacles and Six of Wands. Hermit, Lovers, Eight of Swords, Five of Pentacles, and here we go, the Emperor. Nine of Cups and the Knight of Wands or the Ten of Wands. Oh, somebody wants to come towards you real quick. Someone here is feeling left out in the cold. What are the two of cups and the chariot? Page of cups. I'm hearing that song by, I believe it's Frank Sinatra. I feel like Nat King Cole also had a version, if I'm not correct. If I'm not correct, if I am correct, if I'm not wrong, whatever. Maybe this person just doesn't know what to say to you, Virgos. Maybe you make them nervous. But I'm hearing when I fall in love, it will be forever. But see, the problem with this page of cups in this deck is it's that energy of someone here. Not only do they kind of fantasize about you or they romance the idea about being with you. Or this is someone who has a crush on you. Like I said, for some of you, this could be somebody new. You see in the corner with that pig with wings? It's almost like someone here feels like, hey, do you know what? Even though it seems like a nice idea, nah. It's never going to happen. The Virgos are never going to want to be with me. They're never going to accept my offer. They're never going to accept my apology. But they still have fond thoughts about you here. Yeah, star card at the bottom of the deck with the three of pentacles, the three of wands, two of pentacles and the four of swords with the page of wands and the ten of pentacles and the king of cups and the eight of pentacles. I don't know if for some of you if this is someone that you work with. Like I said, I don't know what you guys do for work. You may have some sort of platform. This person could definitely be thinking about you while they're at work. But they see that long term stability here with you. But the star card, three of pentacles and three of wands, this is someone who very much feels like you can make them happy or you're their wish fulfillment here. They want to build something here with you with the three of pentacles. But you see with the three of wands, even though they have the vision, they still come back to this kind of to-in and throwing in their head with the two of pentacles. Four of swords, this person may dream about you. Or they dream about healing something with you here. So what is this page of cups? My Virgos, thank you, Spirit. The six of cups. Some of my Virgos, you may be meeting a soulmate here. 
for others of you this is someone who is very much in that energy of nostalgia hmm. reminiscing what is the nine of swords and the nine of pentacles So we have the Eight of Wands, and we have the Knight of Pentacles. Give me one on the Eight of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. Show me more. And the Ace of Pentacles, yeah, Page of Swords at the bottom of the deck with the Magician, Knight of Cups, Four Wands. I feel like this person is trying to manifest you back in here. Knight of Cups. Page of Swords. For some of you, okay, even though it's the magician, for some of you, I'm kind of seeing someone here maybe getting some sort of reading on you here or trying to get some sort of information here about you. Or they just could be watching you manifest something for yourself here. Knight of Pentacles with the Eight of Wands, Seven of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. This Seven of Swords today is giving me this energy of someone who is in their head here. It feels like a mental battle. And for others of you... Mm. Spirit, clarify this Knight of Pentacles. The Lovers. And the Justice. They may have something else to walk away from. What is the Seven of Swords? Maybe they are, yeah, King of Pentacles. Show me more. And the Temperance. Sagittarius energy, Earth energy, Gemini energy, Libra energy here. Okay. I feel like someone here wants something that is stable. Doesn't matter what sign you're dealing with. I feel like someone here wants to ground themselves here with you. They want to kind of build something here or they want to plant roots with you. But there's something that they may need to walk away from. But that Knight of Pentacles is someone who's very slow. You know, maybe they're trying to do something. Maybe they're trying to strategize. Moving away from another situation. I don't like that Seven of Swords there. But what is the Eight of Wands? Show me again. King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Energy. They want to communicate here. Yeah, I feel like this is someone who is trying to strategize. They're trying to find some sort of plan here. What is the King of Swords? There it is again, the Knight of Pentacles. With the Ace of Pentacles. With the Temperance again and the King of Pentacles. Same cards, different deck. Clarify this King of Swords with the Eight of Wands. Two of Swords, yeah. Someone here is at a crossroads. Mm. It's a stalemate situation. That's why that Knight of Pentacles kept coming out. There's no movement here. So what is this all tied up? We have the Ten of Wands. Okay, so this definitely could be somebody dropping some burdens, making some sort of movements here. The High Priestess, maybe somebody listening to their intuition. Show me more. The Nine of Wands. They don't want to give up on this situation here, Virgos. And then there's that Knight of Pentacles again. 
So clarify the Ten of Wands and the Nine of Wands. Queen of Swords. And the Nine of Cups. What is the High Priestess and the Knight of Pentacles? The Ace of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords in the reverse, okay? Yeah, someone's definitely going to be coming out of their head. I don't feel like they want to miss this opportunity here with you. Um, for others of my Virgos, I don't know if your ancestors or your angels or you've been getting visions or downloads here about you taking some sort of action towards some sort of project or you starting some sort of business or something like that here, right? I feel like you need to get out of your head and you need to harvest that energy and grow whatever this is because, like I said, Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck with the King of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles and the Hierophant. Yeah, um, especially if this is something that you are passionate about here. I feel like it's going to definitely bring you stability. But you need to stop feeling like you are restricted here. Queen of Swords and the Knight of the Nine of Cups. And we have the King of Swords out here. I feel like you are just as intelligent as someone. Um, also hearing from some of my Virgos, someone here likes your wit. So I don't know if you were a funny little person or... What is the... Queen of Swords with the Nine of Cups. Page of Wands, yeah, communication. What is this Eight of Swords? What is the Eight of Swords? Yeah, it's time for you to find confidence in yourself here. Some of you, it's time for you to set yourselves free financially. It's time for you to become financially stable. Someone sees you as a free spirit here. So spirit, what is this walking away? Four of Wands. Wheel of Fortune, Five of Pentacles, and the Sun card. See that vitality? I feel like it says here, Spirit is saying for someone now, I don't know if the Four of Wands doesn't necessarily mean that I'm saying to someone, hey, Spirit is saying that you have to walk away from a marriage. It could be. For some of you, maybe it's time to relocate. For some of you, you know, uh, maybe there's issues like, say, you know, like when you have, they're kind of showing me when you do like a house share, right? You live with other people, but it does not necessarily family. It's like renting a room or whatever. Maybe you don't get on so well with those people. It's time for someone here to relocate. There could be definitely news coming in of a home here because the five of pentacles, it has a key there behind her, right? So I don't know if some of you are homeless, maybe in the month of scorpio in scorpio season you could be getting definitely some news that brightens up your day right wheel of fortune something here is on your side for others of you this is about you walking away from a situation or a long-term relationship or a marriage because it isn't serving you it's, it's, it's draining your energy here clarify this four of wands and the five of pentacles you have the temperance, divine intervention here. This is also spirit very much saying to someone here, hey, you know, things are very much going to be balanced out, right? You're going to be able to be in that energy of peace, balance and harmony. What is the temperance? The three of pentacles. Yeah, I feel like this is spirit saying that they are working with you here.
I don't know why I'm getting for someone here. You may be like building a home or um, I don't know. It doesn't necessarily have to be building a home. Maybe you're doing some renovations or something here. And it feels like you may be getting to the end of like your finances, right? And maybe you're stressing about that. How am I going to finish this? Or someone here may be worried about how am I going to pay my rent here? Spirit says, don't worry, we're intervening here. What is the Wheel of Fortune and the Sun card? Justice. Look at that, all these major arcanas coming out. Yeah, coming in to balance the scales. Show me more. What is the justice? And the Empress. There's also an energy here of somebody worrying about if they leave someone that they're going to take them to court. Give me one more for the Justice and the Empress, the Wheel of Fortune and the Sun card. Thank you, Spirit. So I'm getting something else. Four Pentacles, show me more. And the Ten of Cups, okay. Whew, for some of you, the Four of Pentacles talks about somebody you were holding on for dear life here. Again, it can talk about maybe someone here has the penny pinch, right? It can talk about being very cautious when it comes to money. But for some of you, someone here is coming in here because they want to balance the scales. They want this kind of Ten of Cups energy. Someone here is seeing you, Virgos, as very fair, balanced and honest here in the Scorpio season. Hmm. Where are we at for time? Anything else that my Virgos need to know in the month of Scorpio? We have closed off and guarded. <clears throat> we have reflection and projection. We have limitations and fears. You have rejection, loss, and fragmented. Show me more. Thoughts and isolating. Damn, there's a lot of negative energy here. And what's limitations and fears? We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, the Ace of Wands. See, someone here is, is, yeah, look, you have truth and expression and nostalgia at the bottom of the deck. And we have higher self with the tower. I feel like someone here is going through some sort of awakening or they're having some sort of epiphany here about what it is that they lost with you here in the Scorpio seasons. Or this is you, Virgo. But there's a lot of energy of, I want to say karma, things being returned to people or things kind of being reflected back to people, right? That energy you put out is what you get back, kind of a feeling here. And now it's put someone in a difficult position because it's almost like it's either they can't have a new beginning with you or they feel like it will be too difficult to obtain that here. Or Virgos, this is you where things have happened in the past and it's like you're being closed off here um, to new beginnings with the Ace of Wands. Now, for some of you, this has nothing to do with relationships. Like I said over here, this could be, you know, the Ace of Wands very much can represent a brand new passionate um, um, project, uh, um, action, right? Some of you, you feel like you can't go after your dreams here when it comes to working for yourself or when it comes to changing jobs or when it comes to taking some sort of action, whatever it may be. I feel like you've got to put those fears behind you. Union at the bottom of the deck with release, surrender and purge. You've got self-worth and you've got change and courage. And there's that shadow side. Show me more. We're going forward. Yeah, look at that. Freedom, leap, opportunities. When you set yourself free here. Walking away. Someone here has to free themselves from this comfort zone. Time for someone to step into their north node. Show me more for going forward. Yeah, it's time for decisions. 
clarify these three cards. You got the present, abundant, and gratitude. You got separation and longing. See how that flipped out my hand and came out sideways? This is a blockage. Someone here is clinging on to their self node. This is that comfort zone. But it's like the comfort zone in this deck, right? The south node is like, even though someone is finding it difficult to move away from that here, it's like that south node energy is suffocating someone. And it's almost like I'm hearing because you are ready for expansion. Do you know the vision they're giving me here? Say we have a bird's nest, right? And you know the the mother bird. She's got these little chicks or whatever, little baby birds in there, right? And she always she go gets the food, right? And she feeds them, you know, worms or whatever she brings back, right, to look after them. It gets to a point where now the mother bird is looking at these birds like, "Hey, your wings work. It's time for you to, you know, fly the nest. It's time for you to stretch your wings, right? It's time for you to leave home." <laughs> And then the baby birds are like looking at they're like, no, we ain't ready to go. Spirit is this that energy where they're giving me this vision of this mother bird just pushing that baby bird out the nest. Oh, you don't want to go, you're gonna go. So this kind of makes me feel like a tower energy. What is decisions? You got guilt and sabotage. Why the guilt and sabotage? Why is that here? Ah, oh, the Venus offer. Like I said, if someone here wants to come towards you and make you an offer, it could be someone who sabotaged this situation, betrayed you in the past somehow, some way. Or they did something here. Mm. They may have let pride get in their way. But you have trust, divine timing, and divine feminine. We have autumn, which I believe is the season that we're in now. Okay. Anything that my Virgos need to be aware of in this season? So we have the natural world needs you. So like I said, for some of you where it's starting your own businesses or projects, you know, maybe this is actually a service where it's very much going to help the public, right? It's going to help the collective here. And I feel like that is why spirit is pushing you um, to do this. Yeah, you have personal, powerful growth. And then we have you miss someone and then you have time for spirit. And I always say that this card kind of reminds me of somebody meditating, listening to their intuition. Don't be afraid or don't doubt the downloads or the messages that you're receiving here. It's time for growth. It's time for someone to step into their divine purpose. Virgos. In October, in October, in Scorpio season, what is the energy here? So you have reflection, we see we have procrastination, and then look at this, the rising phoenix, it's time for someone here to rise. When the tower comes down, it's because something wasn't built on a solid foundation. Spirit is trying to give someone here the opportunity to rise again, to do things the right way, to make solid decisions. Practical decisions. So, what do we need to know from this deck, from our Virgos? Thank you, Spirit. Oh, gosh, a lot. <laughs> For some of you, there's something that you should have walked away from in the spring. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, we've got new career at the bottom of the deck. It says your work focus is shifting in a positive, new and successful direction. 
yeah, business venture right behind that. It says trust and follow through on a new business idea or career opportunity. And for some of you, you're supposed to be working with children. So let's see. So the first one I'm seeing here, it says spring. It says your desires fully manifest as the flowers begin to bloom. You have walking away. It says walk away. It says leave the unhealthy situation and enjoy the new doors that open as a result. So if some of you are wondering, hey, why am I stagnant in life? Why is my money not growing? Why am I not happy? Why am I not this? Because there's something that you're not releasing or someone. You have emotional healing. Or some of you may need to heal here. Maybe you're not as healed as you think. It says, as your heart heals of old emotional pain, you receive new blessings and love. You have patience, please. It says, what you're asking for is coming about. Have patience as there are unforeseen factors that need to occur first. You have pregnancy. It says the birth of a child brings great blessings to you and the world. So again, going back to this energy of that vision that I had, maybe somebody, you know, look, at, maybe someone had a child with someone and they're like, you know, I don't know. Every child is a blessing. Let me, let me say that. <laughs> you have goodbye to the old, hello to the new. It says you finished one part of your life and now a new and even better part is beginning. And then coming out sideways, Virgos. It's you've got the power. But this is coming out sideways is, is a blockage. All tied up. It says use your abilities. To resolve this situation, you can do it. Something here may seem real tricky for you. It almost looks like she's walking along a spider web. Something here is going to take great focus. Something here is going to take consistency. Commitment. But it can be done. Now, for my Virgos that are dealing with a actual Scorpio spirit, what does the energy look like for them in Scorpio season? Virgos dealing with a Scorpio. Now, cross watcher, if you are in here, feel free to flip the rolls, okay? I don't know what's going to come out. I just read the cards. My Virgo is dealing with an actual Scorpio. What is the energy here? All right, give me eight cards. Okay. Some of you may be single. Virgo's dealing with a Scorpio. Oh, that was two good cards. But give me a clear message. My Virgos that are dealing with a Scorpio. Thank you, Spirit. Show me. What's the energy between the two in Scorpio season? Oh, twin flames came out. So you could be dealing with a twin flame here. Coming out sideways, though. I don't know if someone here is trying to make a choice about a Scorpio. So you have twin flames. It says yin yang. It says unbalance. It says union, duality, complement, polar opposites. <laughs> I almost wanted to say bipolar. <laughs> I don't know if some of you are dealing with a Scorpio and you feel like they got bipolar or maybe their moods is just, you know, maybe they switch up and I don't know. So coming out sideways, it says healthy choice. It says self-love, self-care, being happier, love and life. I feel like some of you are trying to make a choice about a Scorpio. But show me more. You have separation, yeah. It says sadness, bitterness, missing you, thinking about you, uncertain of future. Or maybe you're just in separation from this person and you're trying to decide, you know, whether you want to go back to them, whether you want to give this another try. What is best for you? You have sunglasses. It says watching, looking, perception and stalking. <laughs> Let me clarify these cards. Maybe this um, Scorpio is um, 
stalking you or maybe you've got your eye real close on this scorpio but clarify these cards oh dear okay show me more healthy choice separation and sunglasses coming out sideways paradise Okay, what's at the bottom of the deck? It says cutting down the runner. So the card that is paired up with twin flame, it says backstabbing. So maybe this Scorpio is your twin flame, but maybe they deceived you somehow, right? It says heartbreak and pain, separation and loss, deception and lies, shocking attack. Now with healthy choice, you have party and it says time with friends, having fun, happily single, living in the moment. Yeah, so maybe while you're in separation from this Scorpio, maybe some of you, you know, you're just kind of getting on with your life, right? I'm not even going to lie. It's giving me this energy that for some of you, you feel better for it. For some of you, you may be just trying to distract yourself. But you have talking. It says interested, awaiting message, text, calls, email, talking more. So even though you may be in separation for some of you in the month of Scorpio, maybe you still keep some sort of contact here, especially for those of you where you share children, okay? For others of you, there's this energy where either you or this Scorpio is waiting for you to reach out. They're waiting for you to say something. It kind of feels like that hangman energy where nobody really knows where anything is going, right? It's kind of up in the air. Then with the sunglasses, you have paradise that came out sideways, it says happiness and joy, playfulness. It says enjoying each other, honeymoon phase, paradise. Why does this make me feel like, I think I got this energy yesterday where someone here may have seen something, read something here, okay? And, and it kind of turned this situation upside down. And for some of you, this Scorpio could definitely be watching you here and seeing that you are still kind of in good spirits. Hmm. All right. What's happening in love? Give me some cards for this situation for my Virgos in Scorpio season. That's it. So we have, oh dear, freedom. It says, there is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. Absolutely. Thank you, spirit. You have, let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. It says, love never claims. It simply allows and gives. Okay. Some of you, this Scorpio may be a little bit codependent. You have playfulness. It says laughter is the best therapy. It says, have some fun together. And remember, love is the greatest healer. Now, whether you, you are, like it says, we've got, you know, spending time with friends. It says having fun, right? It could be spending time with um, family as well. Um, yeah, okay. So, anything from this deck so I can end this reading? Nothing from this deck, Spirit. My Virgos in Scorpio season. All right, Spirit, can we at least get three more? interesting time apart is at the bottom of the deck this is a time of separation someone could work overseas you have physical connection it says your communication goes beyond mere words and then it was landed with burning desire so again and it landed on the page of cups and the six of cups someone who is confused about reaching out to you here virgos someone who is realizing that you know what they don't just have a physical connection here with you in the month of Scorpio. It says flames of passion ignite. Ooh, somebody wants to be intimate. And then coming 
On top of the twin flame and backstabbing and freedom, they both landed here. You've got perfect match in the reverse, which says you complete each other in the most harmonious way. But I feel like someone feels like a situation is not harmonious anymore, right? It's not tempered anymore. And then you have reaching out. It says expect a call or text from your person of interest. So for some of you, you're definitely going to be receiving a message here from somebody in the past. Um, that, like I said, maybe feels like they sabotage this situation. But Virgos, that is the energy that I've picked up. Obviously, we will tap in again and break it all down a bit better, right? Um, as we go through Scorpio season. But that's the energy that I have picked up here today. So guys, if anything in this reading did resonate with you, I do ask that you hit the thumbs up for me. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. But if this is where we part, Virgos, stay safe. Love and light, guys.